We're starting with a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. This is Dr. Daniel Xu from AcuHealth right here in New York City. Thank you for joining us so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me, guys. Um, there are two main pillars of Chinese medicine. One of them is acupuncture, and the other one is herbal medicine. Mm -hmm. Now, herbal medicine uh, can be delivered in all kinds of ways. You can have raw herbs and cook them, and you can have granular herbs or powdered herbs, and you can have, for topical purposes, you can mm -hmm. have herbs in, in patches, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Oh. So, and a lot of I the, didn't know about the herbal patches. Me you? either. Oh, Never, yeah. I did not oh, know yeah. that. And a lot of these herbs, believe it or not, occur in, they, they exist in your kitchen. Right. So ginger and, and mint and, you know, garlic is, 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 an, is an herb too. So, all, so a lot of times when you're eating food, you're, you're actually using a lot, a lot of herbs. And, and are many of our medicines, they're plant-based to begin with? Like right. the things, right. Exactly. Right. For, for example, um, um, aspirin. Well, the chemical in aspirin comes from the bark of the willow tree. And back in the old days, they used to boil a willow tree bark yeah. down and drink it and, you know, feel less pain. It's great. And it even less... says, doesn't even say, like, willow bark in the ingredients. Right. Sometimes on... it yep. doesn't, right. Yep. Sometimes it says willow bark. Chinese herbal formulas are complicated. Sometimes there are 20 or 30 different kinds of herbs. you got some herbs that are the main herbs that are there for the actual effect. you got some herbs that are there to kind of uh, help out those herbs. Or sometimes even mitigate some of the side effects that you don't want. And then, gotcha. and then you got other herbs that are there to deliver it. So, so um, these are the, er the raw ones, and this is a granular one. What can I have you guys taste? The granular. All right. Okay. All right. So I wanted the pretty stuff that looks like <laughs> potpourri. You can, you can taste this. Like, I don't have the look, potpourri. Look, look, look. You, you've got you got ginger. Sense. You've got mint. All right. And what? Guess what this is? This is licorice. There you go. Yeah. Oh. It's you actually can go pretty, light it's on pretty the sweet. Licorice. Yeah, I, it's actually pretty I, I, sweet. My my licorice older Italian out. relatives will be right with you there, but not me. All right. No, let's I'm try it. Here's a scoop for you. Do some herbs have deer antler in them? I've heard that. No, well, you know, we don't use that kind of stuff. Yeah. No, no, no. We just, we just, uh, look, herbs can be plant-based. They can be mineral-based. And sometimes they can be animal-based. But when they're animal they're like a little bit of, uh, you know, fat. Just a little bit. Just a little, oops, sorry. Oh, yeah, got, kids, is that enough? please, uh, this is, uh, you got to consult with your doctor or, or, uh, uh, a practitioner of, of herbology, don't do this at home. Don't start mixing all kinds of weird herbs and eating it at home. Unless it's garlic and ginger, that's all right. But, you know, anything else. All right, here we go. Super hot. Just kind of sip it. Be careful. Cheers. Cheers. Sip it, sip it. Super hot. Delicious. Not bad? Doesn't taste like anything, Doesn't really. Like it tastes anything. like hot water. Yeah. <laughs>